Thanks for staying up with us for WMAR 2 News at 11 and streaming us on your favorite device. I'm Mallory Safaste. Schools will be open this fall, but they're requiring kids to wear masks. That's in line with new recommendations from the CDC. However, some parents say they'd prefer their kids to continue virtual learning. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs explains how one family is being told that's no longer an option. It frightens us and um, it frightens my kids. Dawn Lee and her family are worried about what the fall brings. I just feel like with the COVID cases rising and um, that we're not the only parents going to, you know, struggle with this. They're struggling to move their kids to virtual learning. I'm not going to put my children in jeopardy. I just feel like it's more safe to go in virtual. Trey and Brianna stayed home all last year and were successful online. So that was the plan again but they unknowingly missed the Baltimore County Schools deadlines. The Board of Education, the Director of Learning, the Director of the Board of Education, the Governor's Office, I've just reached out to everybody I possibly can. They were told they are not accepting any more virtual learning students. Even with the new universal masking protocol for county schools, Robert is concerned. Not only are the kids not vaccinated, but he just beat cancer and is immunocompromised. Children, they, they're germy. They, they touch things, they, they touch their face, they pull their mask down. Dr. Christopher Thompson calls their situation high risk and says while deadlines are important, so is flexibility as the data is constantly changing. I think parents are going to really have to think hard about this as we see cases increase, as we see the severity of disease potentially increase, the hospitals becoming more and more burdened. The Loyola University associate professor says projections show the current surge will peak in the fall. According to the University of Washington's Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, another 100,000 Americans could die from COVID-19 before Thanksgiving if things don't change. What's fascinating about many of these models is it depends very much upon our behaviors. If we wear masks in public, it drops dramatically. There's no peak. We've already peaked. For WMAR 2 News, I'm Abby Isaacs.